Hi guys, once again this is Alfred from BinaryOptionsTutor.com. I'm here with a quick update for the crosswalk indicator. Um, nothing uh, visually has changed with the crosswalk, but a lot has changed under the hood of the crosswalk. And we're going to be putting out a new update on the site. One thing uh, that's changed is we're now going to include the crosswalk along with uh, the VSA bundle package that we're about to release on the site and we're also of course going to update the crosswalk in the Big Daddy alert system and also update the crosswalk there uh, that's coming probably on next week and uh, we're going to include the crosswalk just by itself is a uh, individual indicator because uh, some guys have said that they're interested in just adding it to uh, just various uh, strategies that they're already trading um, we came up with the idea of the crosswalk to really try and, and uh, measure trend a little bit faster than some of the more lagging indicators in uh, I feel like just personally in my own opinion that we've accomplished that but there were some things that we wanted to do uh, with the crosswalk to kind of hopefully make it a little bit more intuitive is an indicator and this right here is a point that uh, kind of illustrates them right here we've got a huge candle and this candle just comes along and it blew up and all of a sudden we would cross over okay everything here these are just three EMAs there's the 20 there's the 8 there's the 3 y you guys may not believe this but I, I would bet you that 90 percent of um, the many thousands of indicators that are out there they're essentially just uh, reimaginings of the uh, moving uh, different ways of looking at the moving average that's not really what the crosswalk is all about with the updates to MT4 we were able to uh, do a lot more number crunching and get a lot more uh, out of the uh, the tools that are available for you to code around in MT4 um, so one thing that is illustrated here is right here on this chart you have a Bigfoot candle but also is we had that giant candle and normally every indicator would be saying okay this is a strong indication but actually right here crosswalk is showing a weak indication you're going to see a lot more weak calls uh, from the crosswalk uh, and, and this is just to help you to err on the side of caution and also so that when you do see a strong move right here we started to see or even better back here started to see some strong moves and you're going to get in when there's more action uh, to really if you're trading on spot or something like that it's going to help you to uh, get in and into a, a a more aggressive move and that's what we're all about here's a Bigfoot candle this isn't enough to to trigger uh, a soft uh, oscillation or a weak crosswalk indication so it's strong and you see the market did proceed up but it will call out some of those instances uh, if you read it it'll call out some of those instances here there was a little you know juice left to the upside but I'll always say don't glean the vineyards uh, what I'm getting at is don't try to take every um, pip that's available if you're trading spot or if you're trading uh, the spreads over on Nadex or if you're trading a binary and you see a big move like this and you're thinking about going in and uh, uh, maybe just riding the momentum these weak signals when you when you see a weak bar there when you see this Bigfoot telling you that there's a ton of volatility 
we didn't make a blue bar on our audacious volume but there's a lot of indications there that if you're already at the bottom or uh, of this hour and the, the the hour's over uh the move really was over in that hour and uh that's what we try to impart into the crosswalk just a tool to help you along with price action of course there are going to be strong moves you can see strong moves here but there are going to be instances where we may start and you'll see a strong move and you'll see the vertical scaling improve and the the crosswalk is still up but all of a sudden it turns weak and there we've got a bigfoot candle crosswalk turned weak uh, we've got green down here not a blue uh, on our uh, audacious volume but in spite of the fact that we did move up even higher we actually touched that uh, second resistance line on the pivots cross that even again erring on the side of caution and not trying to glean the vineyards because at the end of the day you're probably going to wait another seven hours on that whereas you could have exited with probably about the same movement in one hour right there so right here all of these denoted is weak again that's one two three four five six seven that's a not a lot of movement several hours and that's these weak moves can work but I like moving uh, or getting involved on a strong move uh, more movement less time and that's what we try to impart into the code on the crosswalk and these weak oscillations even when you see the vertical scaling going up and all of a sudden you see this turn weak those oscillations especially along with a big foot like right there telling you that the run could be coming to an end and there we saw uh really there was one, another hour and then that, that pullback starts and if you're stubborn and stick around there's another bigfoot candle there which is huge against you this is how sometimes guys will get stuck if you're trading forex you're trading spot forex or, or uh, spreads this is how you sometimes get stuck in a trade uh, because you know the volatility is already rushed into the market and that's kind of a cue that uh, again as we talked about with mean reversion the volatility has to come out of the market at some point and you can get stuck in a trade that you can't get out and over the next few hours that turns into a, a trade that could have potentially been a winner now turning into a loser um, crosswalk is here with the strong and weak iterations to kind of help you mathematically and more objectively interpret what's going on and whether or not to get involved at the top of moves and whether or not to exit early at the bottom of moves and whether or not to um, get into a, a binary because it's a strong move or potentially a strong move or whether or not to uh, maybe wait it out and see if there's a strong move there again we crossed over you can see a weak iteration and then it turns strong there's the start of a strong upward move and that is what some of the new changes to the crosswalk are all about i hope that you guys uh, can find this helpful and useful we're including it three ways to access the crosswalk now which would be um via the big daddy alerts uh via our vsa uh, bundle that we'll be releasing on the site shortly and individually if you just want to put this tool on your chart with the other uh, indicators and systems that you're using inside of MT4.
thanks for listening guys once again this is alfred from binaryoptionstutor.com i'll see you guys on the next video